Well, good morning and welcome to Kids Daily Devotion. Uh, I'm on holiday this week. I'll be wearing my basketball stuff and watching basketball all day. But I'll try. Because of that, I'm not going to be reading the Bible stories to you this week. But we'll have some online Bible stories instead. Same, same songs. And we're still going to try and learn a question and answer from the New City Catechism. But we'll start with the Bible story and then go to the song. And uh, we'll, we'll still have Joel's joke before we go. This is Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Now this might be crazy to think about, but Jesus was both totally God and totally human. He was born in a town called Bethlehem in Israel. Before most people knew he was God's son, Jesus had a job. He was a carpenter. When he turned 30, Jesus started teaching people about God and how to follow him. He also did miracles, like when he turned water into wine or brought dead people back to life or healed people from horrible diseases. Now, not everybody liked what Jesus was doing and what he was saying about God. In fact, some were so mad about what Jesus was doing that they wanted to kill him. And that's exactly what they did. They arrested and beat Jesus. They put him on trial and then they killed him. But here's the amazing part. Jesus didn't stay dead. After three days of being in a tomb, Jesus came back to life. He beat death. When Jesus died on that cross and came back to life, he did something we could never do for ourselves. He took the punishment for all the sin that had ever happened and ever would happen. Jesus took the punishment for our sin and proved that he was who he said he was, God's son. So now, when we decide to follow Jesus and be like him, God forgives us because he sees us like his son. Jesus, perfect and loved and part of his family.
well, here's our question and answer for this week. What is sin? Really important question, isn't it? It's important because we need to know where we've gone wrong, but we can also remember that in Jesus, God forgives us all our sins. What's the answer? Sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world he created. Sin is not being or doing what he requires in his law. Let's say a prayer. Our Heavenly Father, all your ways are good and right. Your law teaches us to love and to live a life of joy. Forgive us our sin. Every day we disobey you, and we're very sorry. Let your law shape our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you're having a great week. I hope I'm having a great week. Sitting in my uh, garden chair, enjoying the flowers and the sun. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I'll see you next week. Let's hang around because it's Joel's joke of the day. What do frogs wear in the summer? Open toed sandals. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs>